Today I wanted to share with you some of the insights regarding what founders and companies are looking for from VCs, how VCs perceive where they can add value to the companies and how these two match actually. To start with, why startups fail? What are the most important reasons and most frequent reasons why startups fail? I gathered some of uh, reports, uh, industry reports, uh, to support this, uh, uh, this data. And uh, for one interesting report from CB Insights, uh, the most important and frequent reason why startups fail is actually that there is no market need for the product. So 42% uh, of the uh, whole uh, group indicated this reason uh, as the, one of the reasons why startup failed. These uh, reasons can come several in one, uh, in one let's say, uh, um, particular issue with one company. And these are actual data which were gathered from companies and from the interviews with the founders, with the early employees. So this is actually quite uh, relevant uh, data in terms of statistics. Of course, this no market need is connected with several other important uh, reasons which are also listed here. Because, for example, pricing cost issues, uh, failure to pivot, these are all connected with, uh, with no market need. Because if there is no market need for your product, you can always do a pivot with, uh, with it and search for some other particular niche where the actual market need will be uh, there. Other uh, reasons uh, which were uh, indicated as the most frequent ones uh, include running out of cash. So this is strictly uh, related to uh, uh, VCs or other sources of funding. Not having the right team. And I would say that uh, this is particularly important because as you will see also later on, uh, having the, the right team and the right people, having the, 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 the good company is essential to uh, succeed. Other uh, reasons which were also listed include getting outcompeted, so just being weaker than the other uh, competitors, uh, about price cost issues. This is also important because Unit economics, as you could say, is uh, looking at your business, at your business model from a microeconomics perspective. This is not about the whole uh, company, the whole financials, all the revenues, all the different uh, cost categories, but rather on just simply looking at your product. Uh, revenue you get from the product, all the direct costs which are related to selling it, and how this actually is included in the whole uh, business and the whole financial need or financial perspective. The other include inter alia, poor marketing, ignoring your customers, uh, being mistimed with the product, losing focus, disharmony of the teams and investors, some, some different quarrels, pivot having gone bad, so sometimes this is not uh, the way to, uh, which, which will help you go through with the problems. And uh, there are also listed some uh, less uh, frequent reasons also here. Why starting with this slide? Because actually, if these are the actual reasons why startups fail, 
uh, you could think that this is, these are also the most important things you should uh, go through and succeed with if you have a startup and you want to uh, be successful. So are also startups looking for such uh, things in terms of help from VCs and are VCs getting and uh, delivering this help to, 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 to companies? First of all, looking from the, uh, from the company's perspective. So what entrepreneurs, companies indicate as the needs they have and support they are looking for from VCs. The most uh, frequent ones, fundraising help. This is quite obvious because when you are a VC, you, uh, you are involved in uh, funding processes all the time, so you have the experience. You should naturally be able to help your companies with the next uh, fundraising rounds, uh, getting new investors, getting co-investors or business angels or uh, any other form of uh, financing. A customer intro and the business partner intro. So the two second, uh, the, the ones on the second and on the third place in terms of being the most uh, frequent. Uh, this is strictly related to networking. Uh, and this is actually the thing uh, which uh, should be delivered by your investors because this is naturally something where they could uh, help, they have all the contacts, they have uh, a lot of uh, people around them, not only uh, investors but also all the business partners from their experience and so on and so on. The fourth one, uh, go to market strategy help. And I would say that uh, I am very happy and glad that this uh, was also indicated by the, uh, by the companies because uh, my observation is that many companies uh, in Poland uh, lack this expertise and uh, do not put enough effort and focus when thinking about their business. They are too focused on the product itself, on getting uh, some uh, first uh, customers just to be able to show it that someone was uh, willing to, to, to buy it. But having the right strategy in midterm and long term is often thing which is lacking. Another thing is uh, recruiting help. Uh, and here, uh, this is also a, 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 let's say a point which is connected to networking because uh, from the whole network you have uh, as, a, as an investor, as a VC, there is a good uh, chance that you would be able to help your companies with finding the right people. And what I can say is that uh, HR and looking for new people is like everyday bread for all the companies and for VCs because if you have a company which is quickly developing, you just need more people all the time. Other things which were indicated less uh, important include access to advisors, uh, being it either financial advisors, M&A advisors, or just business advisors in terms of sales, marketing, and so on. Uh, this is one thing. And the other thing is uh, ad hoc personal mentorship, so having this personal touch, being able to spend some time between the founder and the people from the VCs. These are the reasons uh, also entrepreneurs want to have financial investors on board. And the other ones include PR and branding, uh, office hours, so this again, this time spent together with, uh, with the VC compensation data and so on. Uh, okay, here this slide is not ideally uh, well shown, but 
what uh, is uh, here presented is these are the characteristics entrepreneurs consider important when they are choosing a VC. So the most important uh, and the most frequently sought after uh, include operational experience and industry experience uh, thought leadership. And I would say that these uh, really are uh, very important because this strategic guidance uh, and uh, operational uh, guidance experience, so being able to help you with setting up the processes, uh, being able to help you if your company is quickly growing from 10 people to 40 people and how this actually should be changed and uh, uh, set up uh, to have all the people really uh, cooperating well within the company. These are uh, things which are crucial. Uh, not uh, uh, every company uh, thinks of it uh, when they are uh, looking for, uh, for for money and when they are wanting when they want to grow because uh, these are the problems which actually you will see when you are just starting to grow and then you will have a number of fires which are always uh, uh, there and you will just be going from one to another to uh, to put them out. Having an uh, investor which uh, can help you with uh, setting up these processes, so this part of operational experience, as well as this part of strategic experience and industry experience, these are things which are really sought after by, by companies. The next uh, factors, which are also uh, sought after by, by, by the companies include ability to help with marketing your company. This is also natural because being a VC, you have a number of companies which are constantly uh, uh, trying different ways of doing marketing, trying to uh, find some uh, best, uh, most effective uh, uh, ways to, to do it and sharing this uh, knowledge which is gathered from a number of portfolio companies and uh, uh, letting the portfolio companies uh, 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 just uh, use, use this information and somehow also sometimes also uh, uh, maybe inspiring them in some new way, in some new channel. This is also uh, really important and uh, it is not. Uh, it is not uh, that uh, uh, obvious sometimes. Other things on the list: ability to attract other VCs. Sure, uh, being a VC, you have relations with other VCs, relationships, so you, you should be able to help. M&A support. Uh, this is very important because one thing is. Uh, being able to build a good company and another thing is being able to sell it well. Uh, this uh, M&A experience, so putting the uh, transaction and setting it up in such a way that uh, you are able to maximize the exit value at the end. These are uh, really essential things where people who have done it a number of times can really help you. Other things here on the list also include uh, ability to help with uh, access to customers. So again, this uh, uh, networking and marketing uh, aspects, recruiting support and so on. Now taking a look at uh, VC perspective. So this is a survey uh, which was done uh, in a number of uh, VC firms, by get data was gathered by Hyde Park Venture Partners, where actually VCs perceive they can add value to their portfolio companies. And what is uh, what is interesting here is that uh, the most important factor by far 
which uh, is uh, uh, indicated by, by VCs how they can help, is this uh, strategic guidance. So actually VCs see that companies have a lot of problems in these uh, aspects, uh, need support and experience VCs uh, have can actually uh, help here. The second thing is customer intros. So the second most uh, frequently um, frequently uh, indicated by VCs. And this is uh, related to uh, networking and all the uh, aspects where you, they, can, they can help to open some doors. And the third one is uh, this personal mentorship. So being able to commit some time uh, regularly uh, to the founder, to the most important people, just to let them, uh, let's say, spar partner about some most important issues or help them develop as uh, business people is also helpful. And this is where VCs uh, also see their added value. Talent intros, uh, the fourth most frequently indicated factor related to human resources so again networking this is this is the thing so when looking at this uh, perspective the things which entrepreneurs indicated and uh, the the things which uh, vcs indicated as their potential added value of vcs in portfolio companies you can see that these uh, two actually match quite well they are not the same and uh, different aspects can be more or less, uh, let's say, strongly uh, shown by uh, one on or the second group. However, there is, let's say, uh, a common ground, which is good. Now, uh, I wanted to share with you a bit controversial slide, I think, uh, because it is not probably good for uh, for VCs overall as uh, what they do and how they can add uh, value in such an important and uh, uh, essential way is how VCs make money for investors and what are the most important factors uh, that help that are uh, let's say uh, which are the most important for a company which was where VCs invested, the most important ones to succeed. So as you can see, the most important factor by far is just picking great companies. What is a great company? Of course, it's a number of things. It's the right team, uh, the right uh, product, the right market, the right timing. You could say that this includes the number of most important factors uh, already there. But the essential thing here is the team and that you have the, a great company or a, something which can, has the potential to become a great company uh, already as a uh, number of factors included in the project you invest into. And what about the added value? Well, ad actually the added value post-investment from VCs was indicated both by entrepreneurs and by VCs themselves uh, as uh, something, uh, as a factor uh, with a weight of 14% in terms of the total 100%. So actually the help and the added value you can get from a VC is not the most important thing you need in terms in order to succeed with your project. This is something that can help you and if the cooperation between a VC and the company works well it can uh, uh, really transform some things. It, uh, very you know, important changes can come out of it but actually it is not like this that having a VC uh, will guarantee a success uh, for you. 
but you need to have a great company, a great team uh, to, to succeed. Uh, here, again, we don't have uh, a good, uh, uh, let's say, layout of, of the slide, but uh, just in a few words, I wanted to share with you uh, some of the most important things and aspects uh, we as a VC uh, think uh, where we can help and uh, where we help uh, with our portfolio companies. It is not like this that all the aspects are needed by every company or that every company wants every aspect of this help because uh, every company is different. But actually this, lead, this list uh, includes uh, the most important things uh, which were said earlier before on the slides with the statistics, with the survey data. So uh, strategic guidance, uh, operational uh, experience and excellence, uh, streamlining uh, some processes which is also included in this operational experience, strengthening of executives and HR, and uh, assistance in all the financial aspects like uh, debt financing or uh, mergers, acquisitions, uh, JVs. These are the things where we think that we can help and we try to uh, do it if a company wants it. Okay, that was, uh, that was everything I wanted to share with you, but uh, if you have any questions, uh, I'm glad to discuss.